While there are lingering concerns about a retaining wall that collapsed on Staten Island, forcing 22 people from their homes. News Chapter 7 was over the scene. Investigators concerned more of the wall could come down. The wall gave way on Richmond Road in the Dong and Hill section. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Bookman is there with more. Sandra, fill us in. Yeah, Shadi, city buildings inspectors are still have not pinpointed exactly why that wall came down. It's thought that yesterday's heavy rain may have at least been a factor. At this point, their focus is on trying to stabilize what's left of that wall and the earth around it and getting the evacuated residents back in their homes as soon as possible. By mid-afternoon, Richmond Road was reopened to traffic and residents of four of the homes along the street were still being kept away because of a partially collapsed retaining wall directly behind them. Now they're still going to hear this big noise. It sounds like an earthquake. And when Lid Awadi, who owns a deli nearby, heard the wall as it came tumbling down late last night and even knocked on nearby doors to see if everyone was safe. It is scary because like it was the late night and it's kind of quiet. And out of sudden, the big things, you know, when the air is scary. There were no injuries, though some property and vehicles were damaged by falling concrete blocks. As the day wore on, residents of the evacuated homes were allowed to retrieve some of their belongings. As city inspectors, architects, and others assessed the damage and considered how to repair it. The 50 by 50 foot private concrete retaining wall supports the backyard of a home on Overlook Avenue. It's been ordered evacuated as well. It's owned by John D'Amato, a prominent attorney and New York City campaign chairman for Rudy Giuliani's presidential bid. While he's had no comment about the collapse, borough president James Molinaro insists it was not caused by bad construction. There has been no hint or any situation by any of the departments that the wall wasn't properly built. It's a reiterating fact, uh, city buildings inspectors have not said yet exactly why that wall collapsed. Uh, they've given no timeline for when they hope to get the wall repaired or at least stabilized, and no timeline for when the people that are evacuated might be back home. We're allowed tonight in the Dunkin' Hill section of Staten Island. I'm Sandra Bookman, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Sandra, thank you.